Greetings, real filmers. Uh, uh, I have uh, Anthony Vessio here, the director of uh, Granted. Um, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. Uh, well, first off, congratulations. I understand that you did win the, uh, the award from the uh, Indie Film Fest not too long ago, announced a couple of days ago. Yep, we won one for acting and one for directing. So awesome, awesome. Very, how, how, does it, how does it feel? Good, good. good. I feel, uh, feel very proud of, of my lead actor. The good. Dude just knocks it out of the park. <laughs> He's really good. Uh, well, the first question I have for you is uh, what, what, inspired you, uh, what inspired the idea for, for the film, or how did it come about? It was actually a short film that the, uh, the editor did a long time ago in college, and he kind of hung on to the idea for a while and just kind of let it gestate for about 10 years. And when the time came that us, our little filmmaking troupe that we had, we're ready to do a feature film. We handed over to the writer, Craig, and he took it and ran with it. Okay. And just kind of evolved from there. We all pitched in our own little painful <laughs> experiences in life to, uh, to help bring it out. But, yeah. Okay. okay. Well, to add to that, um, I understand it was a pretty interesting story of how you got funding for the film. So can you go into a little detail sure. of how that whole process came about? We were very lucky that we started to do the crowdsourced funding, uh, like Indiegogos and Kickstarters. Uh, we were able to do that before it became really big. So we were able to raise our entire budget from Indiegogo, and it was uh, fulfilled. And we're the first and still only film uh, from Buffalo, New York, to have a fully crowdsourced film uh, funded and completed. Cool. So we're very excited about that. It was uh, good. Just kind of, you know, you pound the pavement, and you call in favors, and you uh, you create a, a good campaign. That's what we did. That's where we got the money. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I I know understand that um I'll, you've been quoting I should say in in one uh, interview that you had that you believe in characters that that have a path of redemption. Yes. Um. So, with that being said, with uh, in terms of future projects that you have, is that kind of like a thematic through line that you are that you have in mind for um, for some projects at this point, or yeah. or is it still gestating no, at this point? No, un unfortunately, uh, those are characters that I gravitate towards. I'm heavily influenced by the films from the '70s. That's where I I take everything from. That was my school. So okay. I just spit on you. It's good. It's all good. Uh, I just uh, that's that's where I grew up. I grew up on John Cassavetes, Bob Rafelson. I grew up on all those guys in the '70s that really made these heart wrenching uh, dramas. Things like Five Easy Pieces, very right. very influential film to me. Uh, and my life, how how much I've screwed up my life along the way. <laughs> I've always looking for redemption from people. So that's what I, I, I really gravitate towards. Having said that. I'm also a child from of the 80s, and I want to make an action movie so bad. Just nice big movie where stuff blows up and, and people run through the streets from cars. And Okay, so, so with that being said, um, if you had your chance to tackle any, you know, action film or, or uh, um, I guess these days with, with reboots that they, they, that they have, yeah, cool. unfortunately, <laughs> Uh, what what film would kind of be like a dream job for you to kind of tackle? I mean, you have Star Wars now well, <laughs> that, that they yeah, just no, announced. <laughs> my my favorite two favorite action movies of all time are Die Hard and Lethal Weapon. Okay. And I, if I could have a chance to do either a buddy cop movie, like a good old fashioned buddy cop movie, I would definitely do that. Or a movie of a a dude trapped in some place and he's taken over by terrorists. Man, I just love those <laughs> '80s action movies. They're so good. They're just so good. They're fun. That's what. That's what we all want to do. We all really want to make an action movie, just blow stuff up. Sure, sure. And it can be done too. You know, it can be done. You can make a really good action movie for grounded one, yeah. For eighty thousand bucks, man. If someone give me eighty thousand dollars, I can make a just knock your socks off action movie. <laughs> so uh, I understand that in terms of the aesthetic that you like to use, you you like to uh, deal with the aesthetic that deals with. I believe it was uh, old uh, old Hollywood mm -hmm. um, uh, stories versus uh, new. Um, new Hollywood uh, right. style. How, can you explain that? Or well, uh, again, like just from the the films that I was raised on, you know, the they they're films that let the characters really breathe in each scene uh -huh. and each shot. So they're not these quick cuts, bam, 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 bam. They're not these you know crazy overhead, make the camera go all over the place. You know, it's using the techniques that that people in Hollywood today have perfected. You know, from so many years doing it. Taking those and applying it to the themes and, and the styles of the film from, from the 70s. And okay. that's what's important to me because they're so efficient nowadays. You know, with our technology, we can knock things out. We had a very small crew on this, but we're able to tell a story and we're able to do it in such a fashion that it kind of harkens back to the older days of film. 
where you can have a shot that lasts longer than 10 seconds because <laughs> characters are doing something in the shot. You know, you can have a shot where you just follow the character along and you don't have to worry about quick cutting or maybe showing this, showing that. You just let let the story breathe. Okay. You know, that's, uh, that's very important to me. Cool. cool. That's what's missing. And, and as an independent filmmaker, I think that's, if you can do those little things, that's, that's what separates you from other people. Okay. All right. Well, awesome. Well, thank you for your hey, time, thank Mr. Messio. You. Really and uh, um, granted, I'm looking forward to, to seeing it yeah, uh, uh, in a couple I'd of minutes. Love to know um, your uh, but uh, are there any other festivals that you're currently um, uh, showing uh, granted in? We, uh, following we've submitted it? to a bunch. We've uh, been accepted to the uh, Patterson Falls Film Festival. We've been accepted to the. Uh, what's the other one? We've been accepted to one out in Las Vegas. Okay. Uh, so we're very excited about that. We're, we entered about 13 festivals. Unfortunately, they're all. The, the notification date is all about December, January, so we're kind of on uh, pins and needles waiting. Kind of okay. People just call me now and be like, yep, it's in, or no, it's out. Like, great. <laughs> I, can, I can move forward in my life now. All right, cool. So thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. We